Peace, peace, family. I am Z the Empress, and I'm back with a reading for the sign of Scorpio. Okay, so shout out to my Scorpios. Um, happy birthday um, if you have a birthday coming up or is already passed. Have a belated birthday to my Scorpios, my Scorpions. Okay, so. Um, Make sure you guys thumbs up this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a reading. Okay, so let's get into your reading, guys. Okay. So, the first card I got was the Ace of Swords. Okay. So, excuse me. With the Ace of Swords, it represents victory. And triumph okay it represents hold on let me fix the camera okay yeah so it represents victory and triumph um, it's a great card it's a very powerful first card to have a first card is always the strongest but there with the hangman being next there may be some delays some delayed gratification you know which is a form of self-sacrifice because the hangman also represents self-sacrifice okay um now, with the Two of Pentacles, you could be juggling your finances. You could be juggling people. Okay? You could be juggling multiple jobs or multiple things. Okay? Many of you, many of my Scorpios are working very, very hard. They've been grinding. They've been getting it out the mud. Shout out to y'all. So, finally, you'll be able to um, benefit from the fruits of your labor, Scorpio. And it's coming fast with the nine of the nine of ones at the bottom of the deck. It's coming fast. Okay, it's on the way. You know, just make sure you seen the the um the high priestess next. Just to make sure you guys are leveling up, Scorpio. Just make sure that you know you dot all your T's and cross all your I's. Don't forget the details. Because what is that infamous saying? That famous saying? The devil is in the details. So, don't forget the details, love. Okay, Scorpio? All right. So, um, let's, let's see what the overall energy of my Scorpios are. Okay. Hold on. You have all these crystals. <laughs> all right. Let's see the overall energy for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements, or anywhere you have Scorpio in your chart. Okay. So, what is the overall energy of Scorpio? What the Scorpio need to know at this moment in time? Okay. Scorpio. Yeah, I have small hands, so like my shuffle game is weak. <laughs> but I get the job done. And that's all that matters, okay? <laughs> Alright. Scorpio. They're like, pull the card already. Okay. <laughs> and patience, Scorpio. But um 
you got the sixth chakra or angel metatron this is represents the third eye remember the high priestess was under the knight of wands you're you have very strong intuition scorpio um trust yourself um follow your own mind make your own decision you know what's best for you you know what's best for you you are protected by our angel metatron and he's here to assist you this with this third eye awakening this journey this spiritual journey powerful card okay let me see as I pulled this card I think yesterday or the day before um, clarity of thought personal vision okay They say this card indicates much greater clarity of thought and process, expanding perspective towards broader horizons. You're leveling up, Scorpio. Congratulations. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the, and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be new beginnings. You're on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why, Scorpio. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture and support it with your daily thoughts. The insights you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. Ask believe and receive ask ask believe and receive okay scorpio the sun card new beginnings new beginnings could be new love new love new awakenings new intelligence new information prosperity my cup runneth over Hmm. Look, first chakra, our angel Michael. You are protected, love. Don't worry about anything because you are protected. Get out of get out of lack, you know, base thinking. No, don't doubt yourself because it is here. It is all laying out here. Saying that you will be victorious. You will be triumphant. You will be the the victor. You may experience some delays because, you know, Mercury just went direct. But it is a shadow period after it. So you may experience some, some, some delays. But if you are, if you do decide to move forward, you know, regardless um, of what's going on right now. Just make sure that, you know, you read the fine print, okay? And whatever contract or agreements um, you decide to pursue right now, okay? All right. So, okay. All right, boom. So... Let me 
the Scorpio need to know Ooh. the big picture okay so Scorpio you need to focus on the bigger picture it's more it's deeper than than you realize Scorpio um, all hasn't been revealed Regarding a, the situation that you may be in right now or will be in. Um, all hasn't been revealed yet. And it's being delayed for a reason. Okay. But I feel as though everything will work out or can work out in your favor. Scorpio. I feel like you guys are highly intuitive. I feel like you guys are on point. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Next card is keep your dreams alive. Wow, look how beautiful that is. Keep your dreams alive, Scorpio. Don't give up on your dreams. Um, a lot of you guys may be manifesting your dreams. Some of you guys may be having prophetic dreams. Prophetic dreams. <laughs> um, some of you guys may be living the dream. Okay, or you may meet someone that makes you feel. Some of you, it, it may be a young person since the Knight of Wands is here. Um, someone that makes you feel like, you know, oh, hold on, you may meet the man of your dreams, Ooh. or the woman of your dreams. Or you may meet someone that is dreamy. Very attractive. Strong magnetic attraction. Are you magnetic, Scorpio? Heighten your vi vitality at the bottom. Powerful. I've never pulled this card. But it's at the bottom. And it's beautiful, and I feel like I just needed to share this with you. So I want to read it. I want to read what it means. It's so beautiful. I love art. I'm such an artist. <laughs> you know, artsy. Um, I love colors and art. Appreciate beautiful cards. Um, tap into the depths of your being and draw on your personal power. Wow, let me say that again. This is for this card, guys. It says, tap into the depths of your being and draw on your personal power. If you feel like your energy is low, Infuse your mind with the warmth of sunlight and visualize the light bringing new energy into you. You have energetic reserves to draw on. Allow this energy boost to flow through you. Connect with others or do something you love to continue creating the change you need. Spend time with a friend, smile, laugh, and share human 
touch. Aww. We all need to be around people or family. Go spend some time with your family and your loved ones or your children. You know, some of you may be missing someone or someone misses you and would love to see you, Scorpio. You know who this is. It's whoever you're thinking of right now. That's who. And if you're a cross watcher, you already know who. Because that's why you're watching this right now, huh? <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. Yeah. Powerful, guys. Powerful. Okay. So. Let's tap into the love energy. The love energy of, of Scorpio. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's tap into that. The love energy of Scorpio. Okay. Regarding love and romance, what does my Scorpios need to know at this moment in time? Oh no! Jeez, all these cards are falling out, Scorpios. What's going on with y'all love life? Is y'all love life in a whirlwind? <laughs> Let me stop, Scorpio. Okay. It says, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Wow, Scorpio. Aren't you lucky? Say, no, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, what else did we have? Act as if your partner is here. Scorpio, whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Look at them dancing. Yeah, like when you make a plate, when you make your plate of food, you make your man a plate. You know if you don't have one, make them a plate. Create the space for him. Sleep on one side of the bed. And then at the bottom of the deck, it says, take a chance on love. Wow. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Take a chance on love, Scorpio. I feel like you're going to be blessed. I feel like your dreams are going to come true. As far regarding love and romance. I feel like life in general, though, to be honest. Your dreams are coming true. Scorpio, You're, that that lover is on the way. You just have to pull them in, create the vortex, and pull them in, draw them into you. But what you want or the desire is yours. Ooh, I'm saying da 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 da. <laughs> Dang, let me stop. Okay, and take a chance on love. Don't be scared. It's I, it's safe for you to love, guys. It's safe for you to love. okay to love Scorpio nothing wrong with love so Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter regarding love and romance my Scorpios need to know at this moment in time to wrap up this reading for my Scorpios Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Run and love and romance. Scorpio. 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 All right. Codependency. 
Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So some of you guys may be dealing with codependency issues. Or maybe you keep running to, running into people who are codependent upon you. Codependent partners running into the same, you know, partner in a different body. Or you may have codependency issues. Some of you guys may not know how to be alone. Or feels like you can't be single because you can't be alone. Maybe you could be addicted to someone, you know, messing around with someone that you probably shouldn't, but it's like a guilty pleasure. But you really want something real, though. You don't want a fling, but you're constantly entertaining this fling. But... And you know what type of signal that sends out to the universe. But you keep sending it out. And then get mad when that energy comes back and shows up. Because you send for it. You deserve love. You are lovable. You are. You deserve better. Love yourself, Scorpio. Self-love is the best love. Unrequited love. Yes. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. See, I see you you're messing with somebody you ain't supposed to be messing with. This this person should have been cut off. They're expired. Their time in your life is expired. Stop settling for less than what you deserve, Scorpio. You deserve a whole man, not a half. Not three-fourths, okay? The whole shebang. You deserve that. Stop settling. What jumped out? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves... To each other, your bond deepens. Okay, I feel like this may be in regards to a new lover, per se. Let's see. Let's see. New love. I can't make this up. A new person stirred, has stirred your romantic feelings. Someone's on the way. You're about to meet this person if you already met this person. Somebody's crushing hard, okay. Okay, so that's your reading, Scorpio. I really hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Um, if it resonated with you, make sure you like and drop a comment on the video. I love comments. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel as well um it really helps me grow my channel and until next time peace love and abundance y'all